Deb here, Slap Happy Sewing. Here's another episode of Friday Sews. We'll only be a short one because it's not much time since my last video. But I have got a few things I want to say to you. Okay, first thing. I made the Chalk and Notch fringe dress. I'll, sh I'll put it up here. I'm very, very happy with it. I knew, I kind of knew it would it would work and it would be the right thing for me because I've had some garments that are very like this, you know, with a sort of kind of empire and uh, yeah. But just getting into it, the only things I think I'll change, this is a muslin and it was made out of kind of shabby old fabric that uh, actually I bought it from my my lady that I've been buying lots of fabric from but this one I was kind of disappointed about I think it's a bit weird kind of having broidere anglaise on top of spots so I thought oh, I'll use it for the muslin but it's come out surprisingly well I made a dress because I had so much fabric I thought well I'll make it down into dress length I can always cut it up and interestingly now that I've you know it's winter here now although it's been quite a nice day today so I'm wearing it with a little jumper underneath and leggings so yeah I think I probably could wear this more in the winter than in the summer I'm unlikely to wear a black dress like this without tights or something because my legs will look kind of probably green <laughs> anyway um but yeah i'm very pleased with it i'm going to do a very slight full bust adjustment it i did use the, the bigger bust piece but i think it needs a little bit more and what i had done is left the darts out of the back it's got two darts in the front and two in the back of the bodice and it said you can leave the darts out and i was a little worried that I, I'm, I'm pretty thick in the waist, so I thought, well, if I leave the back darts out, I can always tie it using the tie, which I do here. See? But I think um, next time, if I made a little full bust adjustment so it had a little bit more space, it would add a little bit more space at the front, and then I could take the darts in at the back. Um, lengthwise, I, I like it worn this way, that curved hem, I think if I was making it as a dress, I'd rather have a straight hem. I don't know, just maybe check the length, because the tunic did seem an awful lot shorter. But overall, very happy with the make, considering it was a muslin and I was quite prepared to throw it away, and it's black and so on and so forth. I love it, I think it's great. Um, but I'm looking forward to making one that's much more in my colours and that kind of thing. So that's all I have to say about the chalk and notch. What else is there? Oh yes, I'm no fabric today by the way, <laughs> I think I've got enough fabric, I haven't even managed to find anywhere to put all the fabric I bought last time. Thanks for your comments, um, love reading your comments and um, I, I know I do try to respond to your comments but I know I don't always make it. Um, someone said Oh yeah, they thought I was definitely colour-wise in autumn, and I think you're right. I think back in the, probably it was the 80s, I think that it, I read in a library book that I had for Colour Me Beautiful, and they said, if you've got red hair and brown eyes, you're in autumn, definitely. Well, I did used to have red hair. I haven't got red hair now. Only courtesy of L'Oreal. Um, what else? Oh, Hazel. Yes, frills and tears. Yes. Have you seen all the, for those of us who are a little older, and probably did all those frills and tears and things, you know, statement sleeves and tears and yeah. We did them all back in the in the 70s. And you know, it was fun. But I must admit I look at them now and I think, hmm, I think there's a point at which they're not really very flattering. I don't I think I think I want to experiment with that but not go too over the top. Um, <laughs> oh well, fashion's like you can take it or leave it these days, eh? It used to be a lot more prescriptive than it is now. Right, what else was there? Oh yes, oh uh, thanks for the iron recommendations. I'm going to have a look and see if I can find any of them in our local stores, uh, particularly farmers since I've still got that big credit to spend. Um, oh, one of, the, one of my um, commenters, Kate, she said that she she was um, 
thinking about subscription boxes she came up with an idea that she would instead of having a subscription box where somebody picks out your fabrics for you that she would allow herself a sort of an amount to just spend on whatever she liked and it didn't have to make sense every every month and I thought what a good idea now obviously here in New Zealand if there are such a thing as subscription boxes I've never found them and you know in a way I don't need encouragement to buy more stuff as you can see I'm a little I can't hardly find space for what I've got at the moment um yeah I just thought that was a great idea though that you could actually allocate yourself your own little sort of you could give yourself like a little gift voucher every month in fact, wouldn't that be a fun thing to do? You could actually, uh, yeah, you know, actually Spotlight should do that or something, that you could actually buy a subscription every month and then you could have maybe, you know, 30% off or something because of that. I should, I should suggest it to them. Marketing, Spotlight, here I come. <laughs> um, what else was there? Oh, yeah, so... What I have been, I have been looking a bit at my wardrobe for Me Made May and also thinking about my style guide posts, game changer, honestly, game changer. I think the thing is that when I have those words, and my words are country, boho, authentic, when I look at, think about those words and I'm going to pick out an outfit, it makes me try a bit harder. I think the thing is I have largely got the clothes I just ha I'm just not in the habit of putting them all together and you know being creative with them so I think that's really great and interestingly I've got really mostly what I've got rid of are my clothes that I've bought in sales and things like that ready to wear clothes um, but I haven't actually done much shopping like that since I've started sewing so that's good and I think my sewing things when they've worked out as in you know that the projects come to fruition because I was going undergoing a big learning journey but when they worked out I think my hit rate on so on her, me mates is much better but one thing I did notice I was just going to show you oh I meant to put my this my old coat there do you know this old coat here this needs repairing I was just going to do a few repairs on some clothes that I've made that I'm not wearing because they need something they need something tweaked and I hung this up to remind myself to repair it also this coat it's probably at least 25 years old <laughs> but I bought that coat because when I lived in Ireland the people only ever saw you in your coat so I thought to myself I don't even know why I bother to wear nice clothes I just need a good coat and many's the time that I took my children to school with my coat over my nighty. <laughs> <laughs> I recall one time I I had a puncture and this lorry driver pulled up and I, there I was I dropped my kids off at school and I had my coat over my nightie and bare legs underneath and it was winter and it was raining and he changed my tie for me I don't know whether he thought to himself that's very odd anyway the good old days eh but what I wanted to show you what's there's a few things here that I've decided that if I tweaked them, I'd wear them more. And two of them, there's this one, which is, what was it called? Uh, oh, I'll, I'll put it up there if I can remember it. But I actually made this single-breasted and um, no, and, and of, in fact, it was beige cord, which I then dyed, and it became pink. And I do like it, and I think it's very much my style guide post. But as a, it's a coat, and one thing is it's an unlined coat, which I'm discovering now that I really do need to learn how to make linings because they're much easier to get your coat on and off. And also, of course, they're a bit warmer too. Um, this coat, I don't know if I can show you here. This coat is, it's down, yeah, well basically I think I haven't worn this coat, it's, it's okay, I like it fine, it's just too long, I think I'd wear it much much more if it was a jacket, so I'm going to chop a few inches off it, I'll let you know how that transpires, and then there's this one, 
this is the love notions it's a love notions cardigan what is that one oh and it's the same problem i think i've actually i've hardly worn this now two problems this has got it's quite hard to get on here two problems this has got one is it's a bit snug because the fabric has very little stretch i should have made it with stretchier fabric or made a bigger size it's fine in the summer though um or you know without wearing a jumper underneath it but the other thing is the same thing it, i think i've made it too long and if i shortened it a bit i think it would be more wearable with a dress so i'm going to shorten it enough so it's wearable with a dress but it will never be really wearable with a jumper because uh it wasn't really stretchy enough and that's in an attempt to get better value out of the things I've made. It is a shame when you put all that effort into something and it languishes in the wardrobe. And then I tried this one on. I did wear it actually last winter. I'll put the pattern up here. But actually I made the bodice longer and I think I've made the bodice too long. So I just had a look at it and thought, I wonder if I could just sort of take a smidge out of the bodice. Take, just take the seam in a bit. And I went and had a look and I don't know about, you know, in the old days, we, we used to sew things together and then we would have to go back and hand sew over the top. And I hand sewed, oh, I'm not doing, I'm doing a good job here. And I hand sewed the inside of the bodice up. So it would be easy just to just clip those stitches and go and adjust that seam. So I'm really pleased that I did that. Um, I think it's worth a try. I mean, it's not a great garment, but it goes well with a turquoise jumper that I've got and it's very warm for the winter, which must be funny for many of you. I know that many of my viewers, possibly even most, are in the Northern Hemisphere. But hey, you enjoy watching me struggle along feeling cold in the winter while you're enjoying your summer. <laughs> All right, what else was there? I don't think I've got much else for you. Oh yes, Metro. So after my making the muslin for my Metro, discovering there's a few things I want to change next time. I, uh, some of some people have put in the comments there thinking of making one. I'm gonna try and make a better job of it this time. Um, I am going to use this. It's like a boucle and it's quite stretchy. So it will be, it will be more, I think it will end up more cardigan-y than blazery and that's okay because I'm discovering that, you know, whereas a few years ago I used to feel hot all the time, now that I seem to have suddenly be feeling the cold a lot. So I want a nice cardi to put on the top of other things. So I'll make that Metro blazer, I'm going to lengthen it probably two inches, it's, it needs, definitely needs a bit of lengthening. Um, and I'll make the shawl colour version again. All right, um, maybe I'll have that to show you next week. And I'm really hope to to make another one of these dresses. I probably won't make them both in a week. I'll make one or the other. I actually find cutting things out is my pinch point. I I don't have a proper cutting table, and actually things have been downstairs. We've been decorating our kitchen. Oh, what a disruptive room to try and decorate and you know I have to I can't blame my husband for this because he's been doing a lot of the work but I think we're both bored with it already we just need to get on and get it finished and put it all back so I've got all half my kitchen on the kitchen table at the moment so that's where I do my cutting out so uh, hopefully I can get that move this weekend and do some cutting out I just wish that um I just wish there was a better way of cutting out. Has any have any of you tried projector sewing? Um, clearly, that's going to be the future. Actually, one of my commenters suggested. Um, she asked me if I'd ever used Lacala patterns, and I said no. But Micheline from Issue Makes has had a go, and if you go to her channel, she has done a few reviews on Lacala. Um, but really, probably that's the way patterns will be going in the future. But for now, you, I'm losing my light here. I'm trying to do this in natural light, but the light is getting dark, so I have better sign off. I don't think I'll be here next week because I'm going away, um, but I may, might make a video before or after, so if I have something to report. So, hey, have a wonderful week. See you soon. Bye.